All right. Um, Cassie, can I get you to talk? Um, no, I refuse to be a part of the patriarchy. Fuck you. I was, I was including you, so that wouldn't be part of the patriarchy. I am part of the patriarchy. All right, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. I have no idea if this is episode two or three because it has been a while and I haven't actually edited those because I'm sick as fuck. But we're here. <laughs> um, so I think we're. You said we were playing the Gotcha Machine, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Next game. What's this? Next game, we'll get a machine that we could just peg what we want to buy. But for this one, so far, it's just this. Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Would you like to try your hand against the almighty Mono Mono Machine? Let's give it a shot. We just so. said that, Maggie. Wow, we have four coins! Cool. Um, yep. We need to do some exploring, but for now you can just put... You gotta hit up to do it, and then right. whatever you're doing. It's down. Well, okay. whatever. I thought it was up. I don't up. know your weird controllers. Got an item. Yeah. So just no keep idea. going. No idea what that was. We'll look at him afterward. This one, it's a bandana. It's like a scarf. It's a or scarf. Something. Yeah. yeah it's a scarf. Lucky. Lucky. You know what's funny? In this game, it makes sense because we are the ultimate lucky student. But it just does that in all the other games, even though like you're different people. Lucky. It's like, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Woo! We're on a roll. Nice. Has a ring. Lucky! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. That's water. Uh -huh. Damn. Okay. So what How was many that was about? that? Like three or four? That was four. Damn. Crazy. That's a piece of poop! Alright. We're done. The pair of scissors. Lucky! Cool! We got so much bang for our buck, dude. We, like, doubled our, in like, count. More than I doubled. Count. A buck! Alright. Alright, so now do the I button you do to probably get, to get going. <laughs> Alright. Mineral, mineral water. water. Uh, I'll read the name, you read the description? Okay, sure. So mineral water. I need you to click it to read the whole description. What? The oh. whole description's not there. Oh. Drawn from the ocean depths and rigorously purified, ideal for a modern, on-the-go, public, unsatisfied with tap water. Alright. The Zoll's Diamond. A brand new diamond, popularly used in engagement rings. Although, this one's just an imitation. Brand name, but close enough. God of War Charm. Ares! <laughs> Sorry. A charm devised by the protective deity of martial arts, the great and gracious Kashima. I wonder who likes that. No idea. Red scarf. A scarf belonging to a certain masked hero. It's tattered and worn due to the countless battles it's been through. Okay. Astro Boy Doll. A figurine of the popular TV personality who hosted Lost in Forbidden Love Fantasy Outer Space. What? Layering shears. A specialized set of scissors used to create advanced styling designs. Watch the edges! Prince Shotoku's Globe. A spherical representation of Earth about the size of a softball. Some believe it to be an oop art since it depicts a round earth despite being many sen many centuries old out of place art i guess or and I, ooh, um a thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released a must have for a true any true gaming fanatic that book has to be like 50 pounds to be every game ever released Hello? I mean, I mean, to be fair, I found books that say that and they're paper thin. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. So who do you think likes that one? Um, small girl. Chihiro? Yes. Did you forget about Hifumi? Because Hifumi's the nerd. 
Uh, yes, I did. Well, I always try. I always try to forget Fumi. Rip. Um. School crest. Prove that you've cleared the prologue. Not gonna read all that because it doesn't matter. Okay. Fair enough. What is it named again? Hold on. What is it named again? School crest. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you're good. We need to get one item. So I need you to before we go hang out with anybody. Can we just like fast forwardly just go collect mono coins? Uh, that's fine. I'll kind of show where I found them. I'm just kind of looking at everything in the room because I'm not sure yeah. I did that before. A surveillance camera. I did yes. Hmm. Okay. So, do you know where the coins are? Well, you just get them from looking at stuff in the room, so just go to all the rooms you can go to and look at all the shit you can look at. Okay, so there's it's not set once each time? No. That's Random. Like... So if you go to that room, uh, that one right there. This isn't where we're supposed to go, right? There. No. We're not supposed to go anywhere right now. I think right now we just have the option of going and hanging out with somebody. So just don't talk no. to Hagakure. Nah. Ever. Yeah, ever. Haha, <laughs> yeah. coin! It is so much easier to get coins in the second and third game. It is so difficult in this one. Before the first chapter. Yeah. You've... So it's only one per room, right? No. No. I think you get multiple per room. Haha, <laughs> coin! That's a mood. What? Not having to worry about what time it is because night and day don't really mean much to me right now. Oh. And rip. we got a coin for it. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret, Secret beauty. beauty. I don't know that I've ever come in here and read that. I'm sure I must have come in here, but I really don't think I've ever read that before. I don't, I don't remember it. Okay, better leave it alone. Another coin. Hit the door last. Yep. Coin, nice. And the door's all you have now. So you I on. thought I could interact with the window. Oh, I wasn't expecting... Alright. What? I wasn't expecting Sakura to be in here for some reason. But this is the most likely place to find donuts. Soccer. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> Soccer like, goes wherever Tina goes. They're like best friends. That's fair. Also, we got our coin for in here, so I'll check. But I doubt we'll get a second one. Look at the knives. There are some kitchen knives hanging on the wall. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. I had no idea you needed something to cook. Um, okay. I the food there is a thing. Man, look at that two D picture. Oh, a second coin for once. Nice. Glad I actually looked around. I think that's it. Who cares about pots and pans when you have knives and, and veggies? Chow? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but we're not in the group. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are each you can look at every single wanderer. Uh, yeah. I was hoping they were all one object, but I guess this is more chance for coins. Speak of the devil and shall appear. <laughs> coins. Alright. Mm -hmm. I guess this is what they tried to do to make it easier on you. Like, hey, we'll try to help you out with getting I mean, coins, because you fuck would find in this game. You would find change in a wandering room, so that does make yeah. sense. Okay. So we can interact with two objects. Haha, coin! What are the odds? No. Yeah. Freaking all of like five objects in a room and one of them has a coin. <laughs> Two of them have a coin. Okay. This is the room to be. Damn. Don't you just love Tansu? So who wants to talk about gambling? Me! I love gambling. It's an addiction. I have a problem. 
freaking uh, Mr. Satan. So, one coin? Yeah, just do one for now. You don't want to start doing two until, like... And repeats are still good at this point. Yeah. Yo, a fucking bong! So, of 13 items, we didn't get a single repeat. That's lucky. We should Woo. probably get going. Okay, so which ones did we get? What? Flotation donut. <laughs> yeah, flotation nah. donut. <laughs> You're gonna read it? Oh, shit, yeah. A gigantic donut that doubles as a flotation device, and naturally, you can snack on it while floating out to sea. It comes in a variety of styles. Overflowing lunchbox. That looks good. I'm hungry. A lunchbox stuffed with rice, ginger, carrots, peppers, mushrooms, and more. It's meat-free, so you vegetarians out there are covered, too. Hope's Peak Ring. A school ring embezzled... Emblazoned. Emblazoned with the Hope's Peak Academy school crust. It stands as proof of friendship between those who spent their youth together. Is that class president guy? Hall monitor? Whatever? No. It's liked by everyone, loved by no one. Oh. Shears. Since Hope's Peak Academy doesn't have a barber, the students are responsible for cutting their own hair. Makes sense. Cherry Blossom Bouquet. Nobody likes those shears. Nobody likes the shears. Nobody loves the shears. Why are Oof. they... Anyway, a collection of branches from a soccer tree. In the language of flowers, cherry blossoms represent a woman of superior beauty. Is it soccer? Uh, what number is it? Um, no, actually. She what likes it, it but, the, but the people that love it, because there's people that like it and people that love it, um, is Kyoko, Toko, and Maizno. Alright. <laughs> Zentetsuken. A sword that can't even cut through iron. Or flesh. Or anything, really. In other words, totally useless. What number is that? Nobody loves it, and uh, only Hiro and Junko like it. Silent Receiver. A phone that, for some unknown reason, doesn't let you hear the person on the other end, and doesn't let you hear them hear you. Nobody <laughs> likes that. Nobody loves that. I wonder are, why. Why did you get all these items? It just don't matter. Moon rock. A rock taken from the Sea of Tranquility on the moon by the astronauts on Apollo 11. Its composition is apparently unusual for where it was found. Nobody likes that. Nobody loves it. Gabe, stop finding useless shit. So the, the first trip, I got well, I got like nine out of four coins, and all of them were really useful. The second trip was all new things and all of them useless. I mean, one Kokeshi of them was Dynamo. Um, flip the switch on the bottom to set the doll shaking. Apparently, it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. What number is he? Seventy-two. Okay, somebody likes him, at least. But it's only one person. And no one loves it? Uh, no, they love it, but nobody likes it. Okay. Pumis. A porous Pumis. rock formed within a volcano. Many people use these to exfoliate and remove dead skin from the body. Nobody likes it, nobody loves it. Water flute. That's a bong. A unique okay. type of flute. You pour water into the base and blow into the top, which can create a variety of sounds similar to a chirping bird. Only one person likes it, and nobody loves it, and it's Toko. Red costume. Erm. Jump into this, and you'll feel like you can support the world. It resembles some kind of yeti creature. Uh, Chihiro, what? Hina, and Junko like it. Yeti creature? I don't know. Is it Elmo? Is Elmo a Yeti? Moving on. <laughs> a man's fantasy. A wash basin intended to give you the courage to seek out a true man's fantasy, specifically in public bathhouses. That's fucked. And that's what we needed, because that motherfucker unlocks a special scene, bitch. I'm concerned. You should be. There's a lot of special scenes in 2. I don't know about 3, but a lot in 2. I didn't get any of them. Well, no, I did get one. But it wasn't so, even for a character I liked. Which one's Toko? Uh... Braids. Glasses. Oh, uh, the one who's always really nervous, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So we can continue on with the story now if you want, because we wanted so... to befriend Mizuno, right? So what we want to do with friendship is there's like a little flower type deal that you make with your friends. So for the first shard, why are you skipping through this? I was listening to you. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Anyway, Sorry. so um, uh, for the first shard, because like if you go into your thing, go into your menu, actual menu, and then go down to report card. Uh, go down to Sayaka. Clicker. Did not show you the thing. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. So it's like. I think it's like a flower. And basically, at the first level and the second level, and I think the third level, you want to give them stuff they like. But then past that, you want to give them stuff they love. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Because the yeah. like is enough to level them up until they get to level three, and then you need the love stuff to continue leveling them up. Okay. So, you can talk to her now. <clears throat> Wait, it tells us her chest... what? Yeah. 33 inches. I have no idea if that's... I, I don't... I mean, it's I decent. Know, I don't know measurements. It's, pr it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> I guess I should press the doorbell. Ding dong. Oh, shit. Um, it's your voice. It's your yeah, voice. Yeah, I know. You know, Makoto... I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm. Should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yeah. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I got... Fuck. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give a Sayaka a present? Yes, yes, definitely. Now let's fucking see if we have anything special like. Yes. So... Okay, <laughs> only one person likes mineral water. Nobody loves it. I mean, so, Cass? What? Oh, right, right, yeah, everybody likes that. I mean, I guess, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Is it really okay for me to have this? I'm so happy. I'm happy. I'm just so happy. I get the impression that she liked it. That's how, I wonder how I could have guessed. Yeah. Um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? Bitch, what did we just do? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that? It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. R really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile... That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know that I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. <laughs> Same text as the talking button. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around, we ended up graduating without even saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, the huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I 
do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, the bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered in the school pond during her first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Um... Great. Yeah, I think so. Can you be sure? Maybe oh, do you want me to affecting? look it up? Yeah. I kind of do. <laughs> I, I, like, I like giving good answers to things. I believe it's a crane, but I could be wrong. I don't know anything about a heron, to be fair, and sparrows are tiny, so that can't be it. Hold on. Uh, yeah, crane. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's... Yeah. Kathy? That's right. That's what it was. Sorry, I was still looking on the page. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. But... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my tuition intuition always turns out to be right. My tuition. Said, I'm college. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Are you she bitch? She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smell of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlock the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. We did it! So Melodious Voice increases damage when a statement is destroyed during the bullet time battle. Okay. Just so you know. And this doesn't make sense to anyone who's first time watcher, but you're probably not watching my video as a first time series. Yeah. And if you are, then it's fine. You'll understand soon. <laughs> I don't know about the full game, I just know about this first, like, two chapters. Yeah. And you don't even Once... know all of it, really, because you only know well... of it from the Bridge series. Yeah. Uh, once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Alright, so, because you always have two free time events, go find Mizuno again! <laughs> Bitching, having a break! Oh, shit, it's night time, so there was two already. Damn. That sucks. Whatever, we have tomorrow. Nothing bad ever happens in Danganronpa. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. God, I miss this. So in the anime, Greg Aries voices Monokuma because I get a lot of the original voice actors, and he's so bad. It's so bad. I love Greg Aries in so many different roles, and that one is just the worst. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow I'm gonna find some sort of clue. I swear. Bro, you just gonna cut me off like that? Yes. Kill you. Anyway, yeah. So um, in the in the third game, for some reason, it's the same guy as the first two in the third game. But for some reason, he starts doing his performance like Greg Iries did in the show. So, like, it's just, it's all so bad. So, I've missed decent Monokuma. Okay. I don't get it anymore. I am as my eyelids Monokuma. began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. 
The pressure she's under is way different than anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt, I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. The Monokuma Theater. <clears throat> so, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still no room for a little laughter. It seems our newest student, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pound. Boop, 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 boop. Ding dong. Bing bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time when does nighttime begin nine? again? 10 p.m. So you nine hours. So we just slept for nine hours straight. Didn't wake up at all. Okay. About yeah. I mean, Joey. Get ready to greet another uh, beautiful day. Day. Well, I mean, they don't shut off power, right? They just shut off water. Um. Yeah, they shut off water and they shut off access to uh, a few areas. So you could yeah. still like be up and about if you wanted. Yeah, you you could still be writing or reading or something. Yeah. Morning has come. What should I do today? Alright! Aren't we supposed to go to the dining hall in the mornings? I don't know. Whatever. Go find Mizuno. Yes, but it's not a story event, so we don't have to. That only happens when people actually care about what's happening. Just because I wanted to go to the dining hall. No one's here, though. Yeah. Whoops. So if you check the map, you can see where Sayaka is. She's still in her room. Oh, she's just in the main no. area, then. Yeah, she's literally just right outside. Or maybe not outside, but maybe just around. That's Leon Kawada. There she she's is. She's right there. <laughs> I just... I just imagined I was running by her. She's like, uh, Makoto... Uh, oh. We're just like, Mizuno, Mizuno! And she's like, I'm right! And we're just turned into the dining hall. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? Yes. Yeah, you want to. <laughs> just kidding. Mm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yes. Oh, you want to talk for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I spent time chatting with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a gift? Yes. Or yeah, a present? Hopefully we have something she likes. I figured you'd look it up. <sighs> I don't know everything that we have, Gabriel. I don't memorize that shit. Yeah, but um, there's a... Sure. What? There's a chart. Yeah, I know. And I'm in it. I have it up. I was just I... waiting to see what we had. I thought you... So go back to the bottom. No, it's not a chart of per person. It's a chart of all of the gifts and who likes them. Okay. Mineral so, water. not mineral water. Flotation donut or foreign lunch box. Um. Uh. No. Zol's Diamond. God of War Charm. Uh, no. Red Scarf. Astral Boy Doll. No. Layering Shears. Uh. No. Zentetsuken or Cherry Blossom Bouquet. She loves the Cherry Blossom Bouquet. Ah. Uh, Sight Receiver. No one likes it. Um, the Moon Rock or the Prince Shotoku's Globe. No. Tips and Tips or Kokeshi Dynamo. No. Pumis or Butterflute? Nope. Red Costume or Man's Fantasy or School Crest? Um, School Crest and Man's Fantasy aren't givable gifts. Uh, no, so we're literally all we have is that bouquet, so <laughs> hand it over. Frack. We need a. Okay. What are we gonna do about the next gift, though? We will go look in more rooms. 
because I think it refreshes after it's been like a day. And so trying to find more coins. Beforehand. Probably. I forgot. I I'd hoped you. we'd had some Oh shit, sorry. To get it from sorry. you, Makoto, I can't even begin to describe the feeling. Seeing Sayaka so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again, what's going on? And so polite again, I'd like to ask... Do you have a girlfriend? What? That's like way out of nowhere. Uh, are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't. A girlfriend? Not at all. Um, listen. Then do you have a crush on someone? Just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not that bad. It's bad, but... But it's only natural I'd be curious, right? Because we're... We're... Because we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates. Although, that's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. More than that? We're friends. We've been friends since middle school, in a way. Even though we've never spoken before. She... When you think about it like that, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. If she believes that's that we're friends, true. we were friends. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Because they both liked each other. They were just too scared to talk to each other. So, aren't you going to ask me? Huh? What? Um, no, not what. Aren't you going to ask if I have a boyfriend or not? No, I was going to ask you if you have a girlfriend, you slut. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I don't want to know. Of course I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you I did. Know. Nope, I definitely don't. But I could. The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Then, do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Sayaka stared straight into my eyes. I could swear she, her cheeks... Her teeks? Teeks, her <laughs> teeks. cheeks were tinged with red. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> oh, shit. Um, but I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here together, Makoto, no matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Of course, I would never turn my back on you. I want you to know something, Makoto, and I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is my only source of... Where the fuck did she go? <laughs> my bond with her makes me stronger, but go on, she left. What happened? <laughs> Fucking disappearance no jutsu. <laughs> so I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka. I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You heard me? Like I said, I'm psychic. Kidding! I just have really good intuition. Like, amazingly. Like, I can read your mind. But is that really what you were thinking? Um, well... Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here, no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. After vo vowing to Sayaka to give my all, I went back to my room. Go to the menu. There's a lot of time left today. And then go to a report card? I want you to look at Sayaka's. Because it's updated, so there's new shit. A star. The thing, the thing I, remember I remember about- Oh, fuck you, bitch. It's me. Fine. Anyway, the thing I remember about Makoto most from junior high was when the crane got stuck in our school pond and he helped it get free. I always wanted a chance to talk to him after that. 
melodious voice. I'm so busy these days. I don't have time for a boyfriend. I don't even have a crush or anything. Although there is someone I'm interested in. But I need to put those feelings on hold. And we got um, another skill point from her for that. So, woo! So I'm gonna look around to see if I can get more coins in rooms. Yep. As fast as possible. Huh, apparently you can waste your time by going to bed. Yeah, you can. I almost did that. It defaulted to yes. Bye. Oh, <laughs> She's damn. like, and hey, Maggie! Oh. So I haven't gone to the bathroom yet, so maybe we can get some in here. Maybe. Fucking lol. There's one item. And also a Leon Kawada. Aha, one coin! Let's go to that store. Hopefully we get something she likes, because I'm not seeing any other way to get them. Yep, so they don't respawn, so I'll check the other bathroom because I it thought for some reason we couldn't by go examining the specific items in the overworld during daily life and deadly life. It doesn't say... Yeah, Locations vary depending on which chapter you're in. Okay, so it's a chapter-based. I guess. Yeah. Which sucks. We can't go in the AV room yet. Oh, we can. Okay, so we can get other things in here. I didn't think we could come in here yet. Oh, no, yeah, this is unlocked. I didn't realize that. Okay. DVD player, any actual discs, and we get another coin. So we've got like two shots to get something else that Sayaka would like. Also, I have a suggestion for not the next person, but maybe like the next person we should befriend because of something this says. We definitely want to do Celestia's free time events. Okay. Because she gives you an ability that gives you, um, it, Is uh. It Celesti? I thought it was Celeste. No, it's Celestia. Uh, it ends with an E. It ends with an A. Celestia. What? Yeah. I thought my report card said... What the fuck are you talking about? Click it. Oh! <laughs> Celeste is her nickname, I think. Anyway, um... So... Her free time events will grant you raise, which triples the amount of Monokuma coins found during the day, de daily life and deadly life, and grants a 10% bonus to the amount that you receive after gotta be kidding. class trials. There's nothing in here, lol. That's BS. No wonder right. I didn't go in that bathroom. I knew it was worthless. Go to the school store, I guess. This first chapter really bites. She Underwear. likes them, but she does not love them. She likes those? Yeah. Her and Sakura. <laughs> the latest style from premier gothic Lolita fashion brand Wonder Dungeon. Wait, the gothic Lolita doesn't like them? You mean Celeste? No, Celeste doesn't like them, nor does she love them. <gasps> That's the everlasting bracelet! That's one of them! We got it, boys! We in! All right. We totally did no reloading constantly to get the item yeah, because totally Sami over like here. Hey, fuck you, asshole! <laughs> How was I supposed Mind to you? know? Because we both should have checked before we ever hung out with her. Leave the area. Also, it was my luck that caused it to begin with. But I blame you. Fuck you. Okay, so we deliberated. Uh, so, what did we learn, Cassie? Um. Getting mono coins in chapter one of Danganronpa one is really hard, so getting presents no, from people what, is also very hard. What else did we learn, Cassie? Uh Brulating to the person we were trying to hang out with. Oh. We're already done. We already we already yeah. did it all. We didn't realize. What I had her I had her look it up right before we did it because I didn't trust anything and we were already done. We didn't need to do any of that reloading. Which we didn't do. I already told them we did. Shut up. <laughs> now we're gonna do Celeste, because we want that ability that gives us more mana coins. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. It's still weird that you're doing that voice for her. Fuck you, leave me alone. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Yes. There is nothing to be done. Normally my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. 
but fine, I will allow you to entertain me for- I killed some time with Celeste. Choice of wording, Makoto. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Over my head. <sighs> what would you like to give her? Ah, the everlasting bracelet. That thing that we thought we were going to give to the other girl, but now we're giving to this girl. Yeah, well, still works. A handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say that once you put it on, it will never come off again. No wonder That's she likes terrifying. this. I am so happy. Ah, are you paying tribute to me? How delightful. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is? Mm -hmm. That power is luck. Look luck. at you, you lucky damn student. You just lucked out, didn't you? There are only two types of luck. Good and bad. There is no in-between. And that look is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is luck is life. Well. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean that's your perfect strategy? <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it. You are the ultimate lucky student, yeah? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a good idea for me. Yeah, your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. After parting with Celeste, I went back to my room. Yeah. Honestly, I feel naggy there. Yeah. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that. Okay then. Sweet. Auf Wiedersehen. I don't know what that means. I just said it. When do I know we? When are we going to get out of here? <laughs>